Hi everyone, thank you so much for all your comments uh, for the last past videos that I've been making including the one that I talk about sending out letters to people, uh, to my friends and also the one which I talk about not feeling, not ever being able to get better. So I'm just going to do a little bit of update. Um, this is not a happy video again because my mood is still sort of like low, so. Um, and the thing is, I want to talk about is that, um, oh, yeah, before that, you know the weather, it's getting so weird. Almost like a lot of places in this world right now is being attacked by uh, a cold storm. I don't know what you call that, but you know, it's just every place gets really, really cold, uh, really, really low degree. And sometimes, some even places where they don't get snow, they get snow these days. So, um, Hong Kong is like freezing right now. Um, in just one day, the temperature dropped from 15 degrees Celsius to like 7, 9. Let me show you the temperature. This is what it is. It's 2.05 a.m. And this is the lowest temperature. And what they say is that uh, it's going to get colder tomorrow, which is um, 4, 4 degree to 8 degree. Um, and they are weather forecast saying that there will be like snow in Hong Kong. But probably not, peop not many people are going to believe in it because... Uh, the atmosphere on the right on top of the atmosphere where the rain is going to fall down or the snow is going to fall down when it reaches that warmer uh, area it's going to all become water so we're probably not going to get snow but we can see frost in the mountain uh, we want to go there but it's on the mountain we have to get our dad to be freed before we can actually go up and see at night yeah because by the sun comes out um, they will melt I may or may not have updated the whole video from Japan, which I've already made. Uh, it's gonna be done either after this video or like before this video. So you can see the new necklace that I'm wearing. I love it so much. It's a blue heart. And you can actually see it very clearly in the video. I try to organize everything so that they look perfect it, I mean if you look at the title then you would have read that you know I'm so suicidal my mood is really really down especially at night in the daytime is still manageable but nighttime is the, when a time where I have so many different suicidal thoughts uh, thoughts of hurting myself of like overdosing of even like hanging myself I have so much things that I want to do, um, not things as in homework or uh, going out with friends, but more like things I want to help other people. I want to, yeah, I want to tr do a fundraising. I'm not sure if any of you guys are interested in to like sell my accessories that I make and then to donate it to a charity, which I'm thinking it's going to be uh, called Save the Children. It's for children um, who don't live in a good family, family in poverty. They don't have money to see doctors or they don't even have a decent meal. So it's an international organization too. And it's not that famous. So I guess they would probably appreciate some fundings. So uh, I guess I'm going to post another video which is on the fundraising alone. Let me know down below if you guys are interested in these sort of things. Um, the logistics is yet to be sorted out. Um, but then I'm making the bracelets already and the keychains. So an update from where I left off the last time. It's that I was going to see my nurse. And I hated the part that I, see, I saw my nurse. I should not even have called her. That day I saw her, she told me that this is the last time she's seen me. 
because she's being transferred to a day hospital, which、um, I don't go to day hospital. It's where patients go there、uh, for the day and they go back home at night. I've never been to the day hospital, but she's going to be there in February, and then in April she's going to have her、uh, maternity leave. She's having a baby in May.、Um, I mean, I on on one side I'm happy for her, but then again it hits on the spot about relationship that I can never never have a sustainable relationship with anybody, and she's leaving again, and I'm gonna have nobody again. I don't. She asked if I want to continue the service with, but then I don't really want to have a nurse that comes and leave within a few months.、Um, they are community nurse. And in the department, they are always transferred around, so it's either that they sent to another part of the hospital, such as、uh, the outpatient clinic,、um, or like her going to the day hospital and getting her work done there.、Um, in the past, I have several nurses who came within a few months and left soon after, and it actually causes a lot of troubles and impact on me. Um, especially, relationship just pushed me over the edge down. So it has been like a few years since my doctor gave me a community nurse. When I was just starting to build a trust with her, to tell her like things in my life, and there it goes. She's gonna leave again. She asked me if I want to continue the service, and I said no. I I just want it to stop. So she's gonna talk to my doctor to see if I would need another nurse watching over me, or we'll just put a pause at this moment. It's, I don't want to get engaged with anybody who is gonna leave me. I want a long-term relationship with people. So this is, you know, she told me that this is one downside of it, and I just have to accept it. For normal people, I guess it's just part and parcel of life, but for me, this is, I mean, a huge blow too. The image, what I have of myself, it always seems that I'm not doing the right things, that you know I'm causing some other trouble or whatever. So I'm just my mood just went downhill along with that, together with my lack of medication, which I mentioned earlier.、Um, so I guess not exactly like I'm on the edge of committing a suicide, but I have all those thoughts and I just want to end it so badly. I I can't explain how it feels, you know. I don't know why people to, who don't understand it would just say, "Can't you just snap out of it?" You know, think of happy things, you know, think about people who love you. Yeah, I know all of you love me. Like, thank you so much for watching this video. But it's really really hard to persuade somebody to think positively when their mind is so clouded with all the negative thoughts and it's almost like darkness that you see. And you don't see any hope, and nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna get better. Anyway, I have thoughts of like cutting myself, images of my arms getting all bloody with lines,、um, getting a rope and finding a place to hang myself, or sometimes like I think about jumping off the building because. A few days ago, somebody in my school, in my university, committed suicide by jumping off a building in the school, and it caused a lot of、um, discussion online. But I'm glad to have a really good counselor who called me, and you know, she she knows that I'm trapped, that I'm not feeling good, and she actually called me twice on Thursday and Friday to check on my condition. Because I told her that I'm suicidal and I want to hurt myself, and she asked me, you know, to stay, to to not do it because it's just a transitional period and it may ends. But like sometimes to me, my life just seems to evolve around mood swings and all the horrible stuff and relationship issues. Uh, I want to talk to you guys about Snapchat, which I just started using. Feel free to add me on Snapchat. I would love it if you want to follow me on Snapchat.、Uh, so I'm gonna 
let you guys see it out here. Okay, my name is Nelly. It's my username. It's uh, Nell. Okay, N E L H E R Analyst A N A L I S. I do post like several times a day to just do some random updates. If you are interested in like how I'm doing throughout the entire day, because unlike a video which I can't shoot like a minute of it and put it up, uh, feel free to add me there. I'm gonna surely accept your friend request and then you can look at my story like for today. Uh, I'm sorry that it's gonna run really really fast uh, because I set it to three seconds so I uh, can read it. It feels so empty. I don't think I can hold on till Monday. And this is my coffee. And then I went to buy bath things. And then bun. And I feel like my world is cracking. And I have so much meds, which I think. And I'm tired of life. Blurry sky in my eyes. So if you're interested, go follow me. Uh, I mean, go add me as a friend. So uh, that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for your support. Just by watching and just by commenting. You know, you give me hopes. You know, you give me the strength to go on making this video to sustain my channel, to keep myself alive. So thank you so much for all of you out there. Goodbye.